Hey guys, so today we're doing zombie makeup. Ah. Um, first off, I do want to say that this tutorial is using latex, so if you're allergic to latex, then you probably won't be able to use this. Uh, other than that, if you guys want to learn how to do this, please stay tuned for more. Okay, so to get started, you want to make sure that your face is clean and moisturized, especially moisturized because we're going to be putting um, liquid latex on your skin and it's easier for the liquid latex to come off if you're all moisturized. Excuse me, my in the way. Um, I'm also... Um, making sure that my brows are covered. I did put some glue stick on it just so that later on when I decide to take off the liquid latex, it won't hurt when it comes off. So you kind of want to make sure that um, it's easier for you not to have to pull hair out because it's going to hurt pretty bad. So that's what we're going to do to get started. And what we're going to do is take regular bathroom tissue and we're going to apply this to our skin and we're going to be using the liquid latex. You want to use a brush that you don't care about because it's going to get ruined um, afterwards. So this is just like an old paintbrush that I used like a million years ago. I'm going to put like a thin layer of liquid latex underneath. And then I'm just going to place the tissue. You want to make sure there's no like edges. And then just paint over that as well. Now, you don't need to make it perfect. The more distressed, the better. So I'm just going to take the back end of a brush and just kind of push the tissue around so it's more textured. And then you can put more layers on top, which I'm planning on doing. Okay, now that that's done, I've already actually got started on this face. I'm taking Krylon's water-based makeup, and um, this is the color that I'm using right now just to start off with. Um, you could use a foundation if you like to cover up the general texture. I'm lightening up my skin to make it more pale, and I'm using a yellow-based um a more yellow base color right now just to get started to make me look even tone and then I'm going to add more to it. So um, now that all of this is dry, I'm slowly going over all of it just to make sure that, you know, you don't see the toilet paper, paper well sorry I can't really talk anymore with this, um, uh, texture and color. You want it, everything to be uniform and to blend in, so that's what I'm doing now. And you don't need um, too much water if you're going to be using the Krylon um, water-based makeup because the more water you use, the more runny it's going to be. So you want to make sure you just have enough to activate the product and then to go over it. And I'm just using this really, this big brush just to go over everything. Normally I would say that if you are going to um, be a full character you want to bring it out to your ears, to your neck, wherever anything is going to be visible but just because I'm doing this for tutorial purposes I'm going to leave the color just around my face and so this is pretty much the base color that you're gonna do if you don't have the water base again just use a light foundation that will work for you I'm using a yellow because I want to make me look a little more sickly okay so now I'm going in with a brown um, 
pencil. This is a eyeliner pencil. Actually, you know what? Yeah. This is, yeah. NYX a brown pencil. Doesn't need to be expensive or anything. And I am using it just to darken up some areas where I want there to be scars showing or just a depth so it doesn't look so flat. And then I'm just blending it in with my finger. I'm also going to put this right in my waterline and my tight line on both sides. I'm going to bring it down. Right into where I would have bags under my eyes. And I'm going to take a fluffy brush and just blend that out. Now I'm going to go in with a black eyeshadow right in the inner corner of my eye. And I'm going to start blending that into that brown pencil. And then I'm going to go in with a red. I'm using um, Sugar Pill. And then go over that too. Because you want to make your eyes look really infected. Now I added a little bit more just because I want the texture to show on um, these areas. I'm also going to do the brown liner. Except I'm going to put it in my mouth. like so. Bring that out to the side to this piece of dead skin <laughs> or kind of dead skin that I created for myself. Just rub that in. And all of this depends on really where you place things, what you want to shade, what you want to highlight, things like that. So, um, based on the areas where you feel you want to add specific details, you go ahead and add them. Like, I created these crevices, and so I want to turn those into, like, open sores. So right in the corners, or I'm sorry, the edges of it, I'm making it a little bit darker so it looks like it's dried blood. And then I'm going to fill those in with the fake blood once I get to that point. But these are all just going to be like these shadowed areas so that you get some detail and you kind of see what's going on. Now for the sores, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over with red eyeshadow in those areas so that they're deep in red. On some of them I'm going to put blood, on others I'm going to be doing this technique. So I have the red eyeshadow right here just to fill in that general area. Doesn't need to be perfect. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be taking um, petroleum jelly and a brush. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that right over that exposed area. It's going to activate the eyeshadow a little bit. Spread it out. But it's also gonna make it very slimy and textured. You're going to want to go back again with another brush using an angled brush just to define it along the edges. I'm going to push some black eyeshadow up against that so that it looks like the sore is kind of caked on with dried blood. Now I'm going to put some Vaseline over my eyes as well because I do want it to look really 
um, I don't know, sweaty and pussy, like you'd just been infected. So I do want to get a good amount of Vaseline over this area as well. It's going to smudge and crease your makeup a little bit, but it's going to make it look really textured at the same time. Okay, to finish off, I'm going to be taking a Ben Nye's Stage Blood, and this is um, sugar-based, so you can put it in your mouth and stuff, which I'm planning on doing right now. <laughs> but what I want to do is start it around my mouth, and I want to let it drip. where it can. Alright guys, it's pretty much it. Um, at this point I would say if you have contacts, totally put them in. I unfortunately don't have any. So this is kind of where it ends for me. Um, I hope this was helpful for you guys. I hope that you guys try this out. I can't open my mouth <laughs> completely. But yeah. Um, so until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Um, and yeah, take care. <laughs> Bye.